It's good to be with you this Friday morning. I've just got a few things that I'd like to chat with you about. Had the opportunity last week to have uh, Pastor Jacqueline Thomas uh, come and talk to me about some needs they're going to have at the Big Mama's house. And I just thought I would put this out in general to our community. She has actually got some people from the AmeriCorps VISTA program that are volunteers who are here to help her get this house up and running. And what they came in to talk to me about is they have some needs to have some office equipment. And so they're looking for folks that can give them some financial donations so that they can purchase the things that they need to get up and running. So if you have a desire to help with Big Mama down there and, and give us financial help, if you'll just go to bigmamashouse.org, there's a way that you can donate some dollars to her. And I would encourage you to do that. This is a wonderful program that eventually will be a great blessing to the homeless in this area. We also, during this last week in our council meeting, uh, accepted the election results. And I'm sure you're all aware of them, but I just thought I'd share with you that our council has accepted those results. And the result of our election is uh, council member Ryan Lewis was reelected. Uh, we're going to lose council member Josh Ellis and we'll miss him and the contributions that he's given to this community over the last eight years. We also, I was, I was re-elected and we ha we'll have a, a brand new council member in Roger Hernandez and we welcome him to the council and uh, encourage you as a community to get to know Roger and make sure and recognize him as a representative and get to know him and help him uh, learn the ropes of, uh, edu of educating him to how it takes to, to run this city. We, we welcome Roger uh, to the group. We also uh, accepted a bid for the bridge across the High Line Canal. And uh, we were pleasantly surprised to see this bid come in under the estimates. And uh, that's a little bit of a unique experience over the last year, year and a half. And we're grateful for that. That work's gonna be able to get going so that we can make sure and be on schedule uh, so we can connect into the new interchange that will take place next year. I think you're all aware of this, but I thought I'd mention it to you a little bit. Evan Frazier has taken on a position with the Trump administration in our state and therefore has resigned as a county commissioner. During this last week, the uh, Republican Central Committee had their meeting and they have nominated uh, Steve Brown, Scott Porter, and Jason Dixon as the three names that will be submitted to the governor. And now the governor has two weeks to choose one of them to succeed uh, Evan Frazier as a commissioner in Bannock County. So good luck to each of them. They're three good men and uh, just grateful that we have good men who are willing to step up to the plate and, and take care of this work in our community. I also wanna talk for a minute about the fact that Chief Randy Severe will be retiring from our police force and as our police chief this coming week. How we appreciate Randy. He has been with the department for right at 30 years and about half of that as our chief. We're going to miss him. It's been an interesting process as uh, we have prepared over the last few months for his departure. And during this last week, we started the process of interviewing uh, to find the individual who will replace him. I wanted to express sincere gratitude to uh, Chief Bryce Johnson, who's the new police chief in the city of Idaho Falls, who consented to and came down here and has helped us with that interview process. It was wonderful to have his professionalism and to see his insight. And he's been a real uh, blessing to us in helping us to, to vet uh, these individuals appropriately. So hopefully within the next week or so, we'll be able to determine a, a new police chief. Then that will need to be confirmed through our council and we'll let you know who that is. It's important that you know that the December 20th council meeting has been canceled, the second meeting for December. It's uh, at close to Christmas, and as we talked with staff, there was no items of business that were really pressing. They can't wait until the 3rd of January for our first meeting in January. So make sure that you put that on your calendars, particularly those of you who attend with us, that there will not be a meeting on the 20th. Just grateful to be with you this morning. Wish you a happy holiday season and find joy in the season. Thanks for talking with me.